hundreds of families in need of a helping hand this holiday season. Yeah, and the Urban League is giving out plenty of food, making sure that no one goes hungry. Our Melanie Johnson spent the day in line with families, meeting some who waited hours to get their Thanksgiving dinner. I've been in line since 4 o'clock this morning. Is a wait Christopher Holland has been in line for eight hours, all to make sure the people he loves will have a Thanksgiving dinner. Get some food for my family to feed my family, because food is hot nowadays. He is one of 700 families the Urban League will feed in St. Louis through its annual free turkey giveaway with schnooks. Between the turkey, the box, the soda, anything else that we've been able to give at different locations, it's about $100 per person. The line stretched down Martin Luther King Boulevard for miles Tuesday. If I don't help change my community, who will? You know what I'm saying? We can sit here and wait for help, but it's like we have to be a part of the change. A cause bringing retired NFL player Lawrence Maroney home for the holidays alongside volunteers like Reginald Slaughter. Uh, I've been volunteering uh, for over 20 years with the Urban League. The Urban League tells me that they have given away at least 3,000 meals stretching from East St. Louis all the way here to St. Louis City. The Urban League has to constantly be there for people when they need us, and we will always do everything that we can to assist them, especially during the holidays and when they are most in need. A need serving with an early thanks for the ones on the receiving end. Come every year. Every year. And an annual reminder of the reason for the season. And it's important to sit here and put these smiles on these family faces. Like you say, they might not have had a meal if they didn't come here. In North City, Melanie Johnson, First Alert 4. The Urban League has been dropping off Thanksgiving meals in North County, met the Metro East, and to local senior citizens. CEO Michael McMillan tells First Alert Ford it costs about $100,000 to put this event on each year.